Hi, this video tutorial I will cover pipes. To create pipe, we have to use a piped output stream and a piped input stream. In order to create pipe, we should connect piped output stream with piped input stream. One thread can write data to piped output stream. Simultaneously, another thread can read data from piped input stream, which is connected to piped output stream. Using connect method, we can connect a piped output stream with piped input stream. Here I have created a piped input stream object. Here I have created a piped output stream object. Using piped output stream constructor, which accept a piped input stream. In this way, we can connect a piped output stream with piped input stream. Here I have created a piped output stream object. Here I have created piped input stream object using piped input stream constructor which accept a piped output stream. In this way we can connect a piped input stream with piped output stream. Here I have defined the class uh, piped rewrite demo and uh, inside that uh, I have created a piped output stream object and a piped input stream object. Here I have defined the inner class uh, piped output thread which writes data to piped output stream. Here I have defined the inner class uh, piped input thread which reads data from piped input stream. Inside main method I am connecting uh, piped output stream with piped input stream using uh, connect method. Using executor service, I am starting piped output thread and uh, piped input thread. I am running this program and show you the output. And uh, here you can see the output. One thread is writing data to piped output stream and uh, another thread is reading data from piped input stream which is connected to piped output stream and uh, this is about uh, piped input stream and uh, piped output stream and uh, thanks for watching